We're surrounded by kids. Nobody knows what's happening. We'll be in France any second. This is the way into France. Left. Oh, it's tight. Tight, isn't it? Now we're in France. So it's the 5th of October. 2022 and we've just arrived in Armentier in France. Back in France after our long trip up to Norway and back. So we're going to have a little look around here, see if we can find somewhere for lunch. The Église Saint Vast is a beautiful Flemish Renaissance church. It was completely destroyed during World War I. Armentier was the site of a great battle between German and Franco-British forces in northern France in October 1914. In 1668 the town became French along with most of the rest of French Flanders. At the end of the 19th century Armentier acquired fame being the city of fabric, industrial weaving, spinning and brewing, benefiting from the presence of water. Blimey, sitting in these seats, very upright. There's no slouching here, got to pay attention. Now we're on the hunt for a little bit of lunch, aren't we, Charlie Brown? Yeah. Nice little calf. Neither of us has got a phone signal here, which is weird. I'm on EE. Who are you with? I'm on three. Yeah, neither of us no can get anything. So we're going to have to resort to doing our usual plan of up, down, up, down until we spot something. I wouldn't say it's a tourist town, would you? No, it doesn't claim to be a tourist town, no. does it? And everywhere seems closed. Well, it's Wednesday. Maybe they're closed half day Wednesday. We've often had that problem though, haven't we? Yeah. Of things that being closed in France. in France. Yeah. Some places close on a Monday, some close on a Wednesday. We found this place. Sable d'Or. Oriental restaurant. Let's go in, Charlie, and try it. Yeah. Oh, it looks a bit posh. Sorry? It looks a bit posh. Is it too posh for us? I don't know. You look in and see what you think. I don't care how posh it is. Come on, let's go in. Carol's gone for tagine au legume. I had to mute the audio because of the background music. But it got me a copyright strike. Now, this is the sort of food that we were searching for during our previous trip to Florence but we didn't have much luck. So hopefully we'll be able to find lots more like this going forward. Ah, oh, that was delicious. We enjoyed that lunch, didn't we? Yeah. That was the best meal we've had. In the, oh, in the, excuse me, that's the, in the whole trip. Yeah. Mm, the little boxes look the biz. Assiette Marie, but est-ce qu'il y a des uh, moules? Non. Bon, deux, s'il vous plaît. Ah, avec ceci? C'est tout. 14,40. No muscles in them, Charlie. Yeah. Good. We got away. I didn't speak a word of English then. That's good. <laughs> My first total French conversation. Yeah, you've been working your way up to it, yeah. haven't you? That's yeah. what you've got to go for. You. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you falter. No. Bonjour, Mediterranean. And get a piece of flan in the chair. Uh -huh. uh, uh, flan. Okay, that's the bread and the pudding We're sorted. sorted. We've got food for tonight. Yeah. So have a little look down here. 
then we'll find a park up there. Yeah. We could have done that one as well. They had a uh, dish of the day, 12.50. Yeah. And what was it? Bargain. It was... Um, Veal with rice and uh, vegetables. Of vegetables. In a pepper sauce. In a three pepper sauce, yeah. yeah. We'll have to do some research on French opening times. Well, this building is the town hall. Yeah. And that's what it was like before 1914. And the bell tower. And it was destroyed during the war. 67 metres tall, the bell tower. Who's on, Bunny? So, for Saturday, 8th of October, an afternoon with, with Fromel. <laughs> and theatre, we have Les Vieilles Carrettes. Let me mirror out the driver. I haven't got mine out either. I think because we've been driving so much since we left Denmark, yeah, all the way through Germany and Belgium, and we haven't really stopped off anywhere, have we? So no. we need to get back in the routine now. We've got a new speedometer gadget for our iPad. It does all sorts of clever tricks, but this has been a bit of a game changer, certainly for me, because um, our MV200 doesn't have kilometers on the dial, it's miles per hour, so now I don't have to worry. And here you can set all sorts of speed limits. So by touching a button, I've set it to 50. So we've just seen a Route Barre sign and we don't know which road is closed, so here we go. Route Barre. Looks like it's the one we need. Is it the one to the left where we're going? Or the one to the right looks a bit closed as well. So we need to go left. left. Yeah. yeah, it's the one to the right, so we're well, oh, no, no, one to the left is closed as well. Yeah. <laughs> Good job you're not driving. <laughs> They've resurfaced that whole road, so. Our legs. Yeah. It's muddy. I'm a bit of mud, Charlie. Yeah. You don't want mud in the van. Yeah. No. That'll be hard to clear up. Are you looking forward to your fish salad? I am. With my French bread and followed by flan. Oh. No, not flan. What's in the um, salad? Flan. Oh, the salad is. Um, uh, fish and crab, fish, salad, wasn't it? The mayonnaise, yeah. a bit of carrot. This is a bit of a straight walk. Isn't yeah. it a bit boring? <laughs> it is a bit boring, that's true. I must admit, I thought on the map it showed this section was in the woods, but we are in the woods. Yeah. But I thought the woods were over above us as well. Yeah, just like the walks we used to do on the New Forest. Isn't it? Down in the New Forest, yeah. That's a big old pile of wood, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's the whole tree, isn't it? They haven't stripped the trees into logs or anything. No. I wonder what the score is, whether they're just going to let that rock down. Let it rock down, but then they won't be able to use the wood from the above. 
Turn right here now and go down the river. All the wood pile continues. It's even bigger, this bit yeah. here. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's cross. A nice romantic walk by a busy road. What? I said you can't beat a romantic walk by a busy road. No, lovely. It's a bit low. Yeah. Oh, this is like strolling along the canals of Venice. <laughs> Without the smell. <laughs> is it a duck? Or is it a Well, I key? think it's probably one of those. Oh, yeah. The windy section. There's a chicken oh, running yeah. free. It's free range, isn't it? It's one. She rather. She, this is where the potatoes came from. That's where they've been dug up there, aren't they? Well, she poached it. <laughs> Past the lady with a bucket full of spuds. All freshly dug, weren't they? I wonder where she got them from. Yeah, I wonder where she got them from. What are these plants here? <laughs> Actually, down there, they're quite well protected from the winds and everything, aren't they? The ducks. The ducks, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going left. <laughs> you can do it. Is that in the field, or is it just a flag? Just a piece of cloth, what? bunny. It's moving. We come on a wild hunt with you. Yeah. We'll all spend about three hours staring at a piece of cloth. Come across here now, buddy. The bridge. More ducks. Ooh. A bit of rain in the air now, yeah. isn't there? Right, let's go. Is it's it going to run? Is it going to be friendly it? or do a runner? Oh, no. No, do a runner. Doing a runner. <laughs> quick. Don't like the look of us. Quick, get out of there. Get out of here. Under the car. Shelter. <laughs> They've got two restaurants in this little village. First one here on the right, and then that other one over there. But we won't be trying them this time. The leaves are falling. It's autumn. Now, there's a symbol on the map showing toilets here. But they're just these old, really old. The scenes, look. No provision for women. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> what do the women do? They don't go there, do they? It's no. just for men. That's the second piscine we've seen today. A piscine's a swimming pool. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a pissoir. You, you wouldn't want to go. Uh, you wouldn't want to go swimming in there. It's a pissoir, is it? Yeah. I think Thank so. you, more you don't look wrong. This is a there. historical monument. Well, it's all about the war. It's about seeing all the troops going to war, and each time I see the pitiful, it's that influx of refugees coming from Armentier, I ask myself if it will be possible to send our help. We don't know we're born these days, no. what these people went through. So um, she's learnt that a large number of English have left, have di 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 disembarked at Dunkirk, and I asked myself if they could, could it couldn't come by here to stop the enemy advance. Mm. Mm. So something about the English here. Yeah. Just before midnight on July the 31st, 1944, a Lancaster bomber crashed here in unknown circumstances and the entire crew of seven were killed. To the British soldiers that fought and died, the first one was John Henry Parr who died on August 21st, 1914, age 17. 
And round here's the last. George Edwin Ellison from the Fifth Lancers, November the 11th, 1918. Yeah. Age 40. Okay, I think we should get back. It's going to start it's raining, raining soon. Now, isn't it? I'll just get a picture of this. Just over two miles. And that was a good call to bring the coats. It's starting yeah. to rain now. Yeah, I think so. It should be sunny tomorrow, though. Yeah. All on the road now. Yeah. Getting up. Right, it's cutting up stormy. <laughs> So it's time to get the roof down, I think, because it's shaking the roof, wasn't it, Charlie? Well, and it blows open that flat. Yeah. The water comes in the flat. Yeah. So, we got back just in time. Oh, and a couple have just turned up and gone walking their dog. <laughs> We're going to get soaked, aren't we? Yeah. As long as they're used to it. Dog, dog walkers are hardy beasts, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, you cosy. I did it. Before the storm gets up. Is this going to be well? Yeah. I didn't think it was forecast to be stormy. I'll have a look in a minute. Well, this all looks lovely. Yeah, it's very delicious. Paper. You can squeeze your lemon on. Squeeze my lemon? Mm. Thank you. That looks yummy. That's quite big, isn't it? For yeah. a portion. <laughs> it's too much for one person, I'm yeah. sure. It's obviously meant for sharing. We can hack it. Mm. Always makes me feel calm and relaxed. But like today, I feel like proper chills, like really happy chills. And I can only say that I think when we did Trey Chimmy, it's the same kind of feeling, and then when we were in Iceland and did walks there as well. I like their figurines, Charlie. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. croissants look lovely but unfortunately there's a fuel crisis on you might not be able to get any fuel three pumps in use by the look of it